Hello everyone, this is Scramble from Emotionless Crypto Trading and today we're going to discuss about the ICO spreadsheet, share with you a couple of reviews and ratings and decide what's going on within the market. Now the market gap is 332 billion, 24 hours volume 16 billion and the BTC dominance 41.5 as of right now and it's kind of moving around these numbers no more no less between 40 to 45 percent for the btc dominance of course we have a sideways movement right now btc is floating around eight thousand dollars slightly above slightly below nothing special we're waiting for specific breakouts in a specific direction right because we don't know yet if we're completely bullish or not we don't know these things yet people telling you that we're going to lambos or we're going to moon right now is talking just out of gambling there is no data telling you this right so you could say that yes i would like if we would go there but there is no data for that and it's not backed up by data if you're saying that and i have no issues um hoping for the best of course everyone does like that but that doesn't mean if i want it it's gonna happen on the other side for people looking to getting cheaper. It doesn't mean if you want a cheaper price, you're going to achieve it. It's very simple. The market do not care about your wishes. It's acting like it's acting, and that's pretty much all, right? So we can see that over the last few weeks, months, and so forth, the market is moving exactly like BTC does, right? That's the godfather of the industry. That's what's kind of controlling everything which is pretty bad in my opinion. I would like to have a mixed market where some alts are going up and the other ones are going down the way, like the stock market, something similar to that, right? So currently it's kind of centralized. Everything moves in a specific direction all together at the same time. Their candlesticks are looking very, very similar and it's kind of the same. It looks like it's pretty much centralized. Now, that's something I don't like because the speculation scalping day trading is not really giving us many opportunities when a market is going in a specific direction, right? So we don't have many choices, that's the problem. There is one choice, the same environment for everybody out there. That's the only thing. Uh, on the other side, something that's changing a crypto is probably milestones achieved, news a little bit of hard marketing at a specific time frame that's what's pushing up slight percentages up or lower than what's the overall of the market but nothing else there is no uh, natural movement in my opinion because some alts should not take more dips but just because btc is doing it or btc is going up they're doing it as well right which is uh, not the best case scenario, in my opinion, for active traders. Now, let's just get started around the ICO spreadsheet. This is the one I'm talking about. You can download this in the first link of the description area for free. If there is someone requesting money for this, you want to make sure you're going to report it. Is there someone requesting money under my name? You want to make sure you're reporting it. It's happening on Telegram. It's happening on Facebook, on Twitter on emails everywhere people requesting money on their youtubers name which is false at least in my case this is completely false please report everyone requesting money under my name there's nothing like that good we're going towards ICO spreadsheet where we are rating ICOs gonna make a quick introduction for the newcomers we've got everything hyperlink no affiliate link included right so you can click directly on the links right there. Wanna make sure you read the disclaimer which is pointed in this tab right over here. And then what we do is we have a rating system uh, after we review the ICOs, right? So you see we have eight aspects or eight categories which are pointed right here. Now they all have a specific rating which adds up to a total score. That's the rating score that's placed in a specific category achieved based by a rating, right? So we've got, uh, in today's update, we've got two average and four 
good ICOs from the rating perspective. Now, something that I wanted to mention is you always and always want to make sure to do your research before you take any sort of action. Do not just look at the rating system you see over here without doing research and without being comfortable with your investment if you want to do so, just because I said you don't have to do that at all. Here, I'm not saying in which one of the ICOs I'm investing. I'm not telling you you should invest in all of the very good or all of the excellent or all of the good or all of the average. We don't talk about investment nor financial advice at all. And that's pretty much clear to be said. Great. So we're going towards on the how it works tab because I wanted to share with you that we're checking 59 elements for the reviewing process, which is done by me and my team. We've got two people helping us in the reviewing process and it takes between two to four days usually up to six days to review everything we need to review and get in touch with the team to get some responses around our questions which are always there right so 59 elements for every single aspect or for every single category that we're looking at this is what's rated in the ico rating spreadsheet which you can get for free great Let's get started. We got the first one. The update starts from here where these two stars are located. That's from where I'm always updating and I'm moving the stars basically to the ICO accordingly from where I've updated the spreadsheet, right? So intro, business intelligence, uh, around business intelligence, very interesting one. It's rated on 35.4 with the highest rating around the team 4.7 the shortest or the smallest rating 4.1 for token economics intro is right here official website is right there their pre-ico ends in about 12 days so it's currently active with 250 ethereums raised all you gotta do is just sign up if you wanna go with it as there is 10 percent um bonus as of right now uh, if you get your tokens through Kick ICO, where they're holding uh, their ICO, it's like a service where you could host a platform where you can host your ICOs. Business intelligence services for the participants of residential construction market. Like I just said in my other videos as well, we're not going through very deeply, not at all deeply into reviewing the ICOs. We're just sharing the ratings we have and you need to do your own research because that's the best way to do it. Level net is the next one, network and security. Highest rating 4.3 for the team. Let me tell you something about the background and the team. Nowadays, everyone is focusing to get a good team because they know everyone that does a research or looks to buy into an ICO, to invest into an ICO, is paying high attention around the team. But what is missing, because this is kind of covered by a lot of the ICOs today, so it's no longer a major issue like it was um, 2016, 2017, where kind of nobody tried to do ICOs. No names, no experience. Uh, scammers tried to do their ICO and they were raising hundreds of thousands of dollars, if not millions, because they were having a good marketing. Today, it's not working out anymore like that. Everyone is paying attention to the team. So this is no longer an issue for them to solve it and cover it, right? They're always coming out with great teams. I heard in some specific cases, if there is scam behind an ICO, they're paying people to appear as a surface. They're paying people to appear that they are at the control of the ICOs in specific important areas of the business, right? So you're talking from CEO down the way, uh, there might be just actors in some case scenarios. Uh, so this is no longer for them to cover it. They found it out how to do it. But there is an issue on something they're not covering which is the product problem and solution and the execution, which is missing, completely missing, right? That's something you would want to look at. And today I do believe it's one of the most important thing. We need to see something on the table. We need to see something on the table. We can't just buy into an idea anymore. It's very difficult to do that. It needs to be very good. 
and you need to be very very well convinced and I'm suggesting you guys if you're going in with big money no matter how much big money can be for you even 1000 bucks there is no issue about that if you're going in like that request a meetup with the owner offline or online or at least with someone from their team request it they will offer it great so level net 4.3 the highest rating the uh, smallest one 4. Point, or the shortest one for 3.5 i'm sorry for token economics uh having a total of 30.8 average in the category of average that's what it is going towards their pre-sale starts in about two days doing tokenized antivirus 2.0 platform for one billion dollar market taking care about security on the networking side this is what level that does we mark marketplace for photograph uh, 4.7 for the team highest rating and the lowest one is for the problem and solution 35.1 rating system totally placing them in the good category there you go their ICO starts on May 7th and it takes care about licensed photos directly from top photographers we mark is a different kind of stock photography marketplace way way different than it used to be because right now there is no middlemen they are um, kind of looking to provide this bridge between the photographers and people looking to purchase those photos the rights to use the photos right so there is no third party in the middle it's just blockchain just a bridge providing uh, people a lot of transparency uh, a lot more money for uh, for uh, for the photos they are going to sell so it's a win-win situation something very interesting but of course it lacks a couple of things that's why it has 35.1 rating score on the other side we've got plagued the next one network and security having the highest rating for the team 4.2 and the lowest one 3.7 for the token economics 31.5 average rating uh, this is their ICO they're just live right now and uh, basically it's an extended ICO period uh, which ends in about 44 days the soft gap has been reached plaque network giving control back to people this is what everyone says around blockchain we're giving control back to people plaque incorporates the best of blockchain technology in easy to use applications to allow people to take advantage of blockchain technology now everyone promises everyone does the same everyone shares that they will give control back to people until the point you have to complete your taxes because you're not anymore in control at that time right so it's not that type of full control you could imagine good uh, they're covering a lot of the things as usually it's not difficult to cover the things on a website it's more difficult to do it on the real life or to have the actual product ready going towards Elysian e-commerce a lot of the products in the e-commerce industry they found some gaps some spaces to create this ICOs out there and collect funds I do understand there is a bunch of competition and you guys like it but there needs to be some available product before you can go out there and request tens of millions of dollars you need to be able to worth that in order to get it the market is not gonna give you today especially at this times when the space is 332 billion you might be able to gather some more funds in an ICO if you're an ICO creator when the market gap is 1.52 billion when everything is parabolically people spend some money easier than uh, easier than usually when the market is down the way right so Elysian e-commerce 4.7 team background and market that's the highest rating for those ones and then we have 4.1 problem and solution Elysian is right here a decentralized platform to build e-commerce websites 
on the blockchain. Starts a private event in about 33 days. You need to sign up, but in the same time be on the whitelist in order to participate. Secure data storage and unprecedented user experience to create trust between businesses and consumers. A bunch of projects promising that they are different than the other. A lot of them promising transparency. And of course, this is just happening till a point. You have to be aware that blockchain is transparent till a point. We would love to have it fully transparent. I'm not going to dive into that, but it's not fully transparent, unfortunately. Uh, the last one right here is viral social media marketing. 4.4 background, 4.4 marketing with the highest rating. The lowest one is 4 for the token economics. Something very difficult to achieve, especially from the fact that a lot of the ICOs are setting up their token metrics for the ICO structure very badly, in my opinion. When the purpose of collecting funds and getting rich is bigger than the purpose and willingness to build up a business, then you are going to get rated average, poor, or even good sometimes if you have some other parts which are pretty good, and you will lack token economics, which is very difficult to get a high rating on it because you realistically need to provide some sort of knowledge in the structure which needs to be um, at least visible for the people that it could achieve what they're looking to achieve, which is profits. If you're trying to price a market cap that's insane, uh, highly priced token out there, your circulating supply is again a total mess up, your distribution is completely wrong, and all these things are affecting the audience that's investing, right? Because I've been working with ICOs as advisor, and I've been doing this, trying to help some people out. The first thing I've been seeing is, as a pattern, majority of the CEOs are looking to collect as much as possible, no matter how, no matter how. So it's like they're trying to price their tokens as high as possible with a bunch of circulating supply, getting a high market cap, not giving a bunch of space for people to see an increase in the price and probably a decrease because of the large bonuses they are sharing with the whales, which are dumping in the first days once the ICO goes out on the exchange. So the industry right now is full of non-experienced CEOs pushing out ICOs out there with the main focus on collecting money and creating themselves a nice business, a comfortable place on your millions of dollars. Even though that might be nothing in about two years, which is the sad truth that majority of the ICOs will be nothing in about two years compared to what they were promising to you and compared on the market. They will be nothing. Good. Uh, viral right there. Pre-sale is live right now. You have to sign up in order to join. There is a 50% bonus for the people. Transforming social media marketing, AI-based decentralized influencer marketing and influencer evaluation platform powered by blockchain. That's pretty much how it is. That's pretty much all about around a quick, quick, quick intro into this ICOs. We're just telling you what it's all about in a nutshell from, from the title perspective. And when the ICO goes out, what is the stage of the ICO? You can look at the rating system and dive into deep considering this 59 elements that I'm telling you. You definitely need to look at it before you would consider investing. If you have too many red flags, do not go with it. If you have less and those type of red flags, which are overwhelmed by the green flags, then it's worth it. 
because you're not going to find ICOs which are not having red flags. That means a perfect ICO. There is no perfect ICO out there. And there is no ICO I found without red flags. There are always red flags. Depends what are your standards of reviewing projects, what is your standard of your review of the research process, how much attention do you want to pay and for how long and how hard do you want to dive into your review because you can get into that deep as visiting their offices and making sure it's what they're talking about it's not only behind a screen right so feel free to share your ideas in the comments area i'm not going to keep you longer I'll keep updating you with video presentation around ICO spreadsheets, market analysis, technical analysis, news about a market. I'm trying to keep in touch with everything that's happening, even though we're very, very busy with trading and coaching people and uh, doing our work online, right? So thank you so much for watching this video. Feel free to subscribe on my YouTube channel. We're working towards getting our first 30,000 subscribers on YouTube. And they're just going to push towards to 50,000 subscribers for 2018 on YouTube. Uh, there's something I would like to remind you. When I started this ICO spreadsheet, I said I want to achieve with this ICO spreadsheet by 2018, December 30 or 31st, to have at least 10 millionaires that made at least $1 million out of this ICO spreadsheet they succeed uh, investing in different ICOs they were finding out here, they were reviewing by themselves, and successful stories at the end of the year, hopefully as many as possible, at least 10 millionaires. That's my goal with this spreadsheet for this year. Let's take a look how many ICOs we have on it. We're just going to scroll down the way. 117. Always the latest ones are at the top right here in the top right so thank you so much feel free to subscribe and talk to you soon